Welcome to Viral Pro Wrestling, infecting the world one household at a time. I'm Mitch McCoy, your host, and this is tonight's opening contest. Introducing first, he's it, he's Bennett, he is Anthony Bennett, and his opponent, the young gun, Chandler Hopkins. All right, here we go. Episode number two. I'm Ben Miller sitting here with my broadcast partner, Billy Maddox. And Billy, tonight, Viral Pro is taking over the airwaves once again. But speaking of infection, did you see the jacket on our ring announcer? My goodness, what a way to start this show. And what a way to start with this athletic contest here on episode two. I think you're just upset, Ben, because you don't have as good a style as Mitch McCoy does sitting there with a holy fun t-shirt i mean come on we're trying to try to be professionals here i'm trying to be co professional and comfortable all at the same time billy don't make fun of my t-shirt one thing's for sure look at anthony bennett and chandler hawkins two of the hottest rising stars and we're not talking about fevers here in uh, viral pro but these guys are definitely some of the hottest wrestlers on the independent scene right now billy i mean just phenomenal athletes you know, I could agree with you on that. I don't know if I particularly care for either Bennett or uh, Hopkins. I just, uh, I don't know, man. You know, get a, get, a, get a new shtick. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. These guys are going to definitely be turning on deep Mexican arm drag there by Anthony Bennett. Anthony Bennett looks to be in tremendous shape as well as Chandler Hopkins. And if you guys go to Patreon.com and search out Viral Pro, Thank you for being Tier 1 subscribers. And don't forget, try to be a Tier 2 subscriber. We just lowered the prices. And what we want to do is provide these fantastic athletes with an outlet to do their craft while we're all in quarantine and give you the best bang for your buck here on Viral Pro. That is absolutely something that we could agree on, Ben. Uh, you know, Tier 1, $12.50, $12.50. You can watch good quality wrestling right from the comfort of your own home patreon.com slash viral pro absolutely did you see that i mean that was a i mean these guys are going at a breakneck pace here in our opening contest as they're both trying to kick each other's heads off and we are at a stalemate here the ref looks confused i think he's probably uh, he's probably uh, two cards short of a full deck i mean look at that guy looks like an absolute piece of trash Trying to referee a match. He's doing his job the best he could do here, Ben. I mean, you know, everyone's a little bit cautious, a little bit scared with everything going on in quarantine. Oh, and a two count. As he can count to two. And look at that, sweeps the leg up from underneath him. I hope he can count to three. He's right on top of the action, though. I will give him that palm strike and a quad kick by Chandler Hopkins. Almost a capo style kick there by Anthony Bennett. And it with a beautiful back elbow. Really trying to rock the. Oh, look at that. Rock the kick. Palm strikes again. This is that kick. Does not miss with that one. And it rocks the fourth here. Yeah, beautiful back and forth. Till that. Low hanging flatliner. Hooks the leg. Two. Almost three. I think the Look germs are cheering them both on because they want to see which is the, their next victim to infect. Maybe they'll be in quarantine for the next two weeks. Who knows? One thing's for sure, fans. This will viral pro is planning on continuing to go on past you know however long this quarantine phase lasts. So this is a great way to to show your support for independent professional wrestling. Oh, look at this quick for a couple. Oh, no, once again, Hopkins is kicked out. Bennett really on the attack here. But this is a great way to support the independent professional wrestlers that sacrifice their bodies here for you and here for your entertainment while we're all in uh, isolation. Thank God, Billy, I'm in isolation for you. Really driving me crazy with that mustache. What do you got against my mustache, bro? Well, like I said, I was trying to grow an awful beard, so I, I, I can't hate on the mustache. Oh! Block. Going for a cup. Two. No. Hopkins kicks out. Billy, you got it. I don't know if you the last 
ladder. It's ben, no one has an idea what the hell you're saying right now. You're cutting out pretty bad. I mean, I guess this is a problem with uh, social distancing and trying to call commentary, but that's all right. You know, I mean, we're, we're keeping safe and being it's better being safe than sorry. But I will say that I'm very thankful that I didn't have to uh, hear anything you just had to say. Well, you know, that sometimes uh, the uh, technical difficulties come with our social isolation. But one thing that's not difficult is watching this match. Look at that beautiful standing Spanish fly, too. And then it kicks out. I don't care who wins this match. I just want it to be over already. Good lord. Why? What's wrong with this kind of action here? I mean, what do you have against these two guys? Everything and nothing at the same exact time. I mean, I mean, you know, they just, they're both, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm not even going to try to explain it to you. Whips him into the corner. Chandler Hopkins trying to gain control of this match. Both men, beautiful uh, forearm splash in the corner. Nap suplex floats over. Look at that. Oh, wow. Phoenix. Oh, almost a three count. Yeah, look at that. The ref's doing his job really well, don't you think, Benjamin? It looks like a piece of crap to me. He needs to shave that beard and get a haircut like a real person. Nobody can get their hair cut or their beard shaved right now. I mean, you know, we're all in isolation here. Give me, you know? a, give me a pair of clippers, I'll do it. That would require you to get off your ass. That is very true. Oh, look! Beautiful ace crusher. Chandler wow. Hopkins going for the cover. One, two, no! You gotta be kidding. I can't believe that. I don't think Chandler Hopkins can believe it either. I will say these two are giving it their all their debut match here in Viral Pro. I mean, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing because Viral Pro is starting online strictly for you guys but it's gonna be you know planning on going going forward once uh, the lockdown is over so you know get get used to these guys seeing these guys and you know, you'll be able to see them live here soon i'd be interested to see billy what kind of championships develop out of rivalries like this maybe there's a light heavyweight championship in the future you, you never know here at viral pro but that's depending on you fans at home spreading the word like a virus and supporting something like viral pro Share on Facebook, share on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, wherever you wherever you do your social media. Viral Pro is spreading across the internet worldwide. And yeah, you know what? We need your help. We need your help to do that. We need your help to spread the word. For as simple as twelve fifty for to watch an episode, you can go ahead and watch pure quality content like you're you're watching right now. Tell all your friends. This is some cool ass stuff, man. And and Billy, the, all, every dollar of the proceeds goes to the to the production crew and the pro wrestlers. This is supporting independent contractors at a time when we need it the most. Look at that double clothesline. Absolutely, people are coming up from like Chandler Hopkins coming up from Texas. We have people like Malico from Oklahoma City. Everyone is coming all around the Midwest just to be a part of this product to give you something great to see at home. Look at that coat red too. No. Anthony Bennett kicks out. These guys are going at a breakneck pace here. Crucifix bomb, two, no, rolls it back over. All the weight on the shoulders, that is it. Oh, he got it. And the winner of this bout via pinfall, the young gun, Chandler Hopkins. Billy with a victory from the young gun, Chandler Hopkins. I will definitely tell you that was better than I anticipated. I'll give you that. But uh, now we're on to some really good quality style wrestling. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the hardest working man in professional wrestling, the Space Cowboy, Jason Jones! That's what I'm talking about, Ben. And his opponent, the party machine, the man with the neon hand, minimum effort, maximum fun, Fiesco! All 
right, Jimmy Fiasco and the Space Cowboy Jason Jones going head to head here in match number two, episode two of your new weekly obsession, Viral Pro. These are mammoth dudes here in the ring, Billy. Look at that. All yeah, right. Making it, having a good time. I'm going to go have to get a bottle of Jameson and take a drink every single time I see Jimmy Fiasco shake his damn hips because I don't want to see that. Something has to get me through. Oh, good Lord. Look at that. That's some spicy maneuvering here. And look at that piece of crap referee is back for, I don't know why I don't like that rep. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time with it. I don't either. I think he's, you know, doing a great job. He has, you know, the referee like, you know, slicks on with his sleeveless shirt, you know, and, and uh, just calling it down the middle like he's supposed to do. Jimmy Fiasco really having a good time, and that's what Viral Pro is all about, Billy, is having a good time. Whether it's me and you uh, bantering back and forth about that piece of crap referee, or if it's the competitors in the ring having a good time. This is pro wrestling the way it's meant to be seen. It's a, it's a, an escape, Billy. I mean, we all need a kind of an escape right now. Absolutely. The news is filled with uh, the quarantine stuff, which uh, understandably and, you know, it's a lot of it's a real depressing time, uh, you know, for pe a lot of people out there. So, you know, getting have involved some here. Yeah, to have some fun with some uh, wrestling without watching him gyrate anymore. I could I could definitely I think I think I'm, I'm good with that. It seems to me like fiasco has uh, has been maybe locked up a little too long. <laughs> maybe maybe you're right, Billy, but one thing's for sure, he's probably trying to get under the head, trying to get, maybe play a little bit of mind games with Jason Jones here, trying to get in his head and pick up that one, two, two, three. Look at Jason Jones transitioning into a waist lock. That's a big waist to lock those hands around. Even Jason Jones is a bigger man. And look, he has to go. Oh, drink. Maybe we can make a drinking game out of this, Jason. Oh, I, I already time. have. Okay, all right. Every time Jason Fiasco, if you're watching at home, gyrates his hips, got to take a drink. There it is again. Oh, look ride at him like a cow. Right just, I mean, you ride him like a cow. Yeah, you know, like, like, like a cowboy, like you said. It's just disrespectful. I mean, Jason Jones has been in this industry for a long, long time. He's a vet in the business. Travels all around the Midwest, and you got a young guy just wanted to gyrate his hips, have a good little time, wear some pink doodad on his arm, and I, you know, I don't know. I, th I think he's honestly doing it because he's scared of the Space Cowboy. Well, like I said, he could be playing my game. Look at Jones going to the eyes. Real bad. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a terrible show of sportsmanship, raking, raking somebody right in the eyes. And Jason Jones pounding away on the man with the pink left hand. Jimmy Fiasco. That's what happens. You, you you dance around too long. You get a guy like Space Cowboy, uh, you know, on the other side of the ring with you, and he's gonna he's gonna teach you a lesson or two. Snapmare takes him over, and Jason Jones locking on a rear chin lock, trying to zap some of the energy, talking some trash while doing it. Out of Jimmy Fiasco. Jimmy Fiasco. Now, the key here, Billy, is a lot of these guys can't feed off the energy of a crowd. You know, so how is that going to affect Jimmy Fiasco trying to get out of this rear chin lock if we, if we don't have fans cheering him on? I mean, we got a couple of germs in the back, but I, I, I agree with you on that. A guy like Fiasco, with all his gyrating and dance moves, you know, minimal effort, right? You know, the, he's, he's about pleasing the crowd. Well, guess what, Jimmy? There ain't no crowd. Could that be at the disadvantage of Jimmy Fiasco? And it looks like so far it might be because Jason Jones really putting a beating on Jimmy Fiasco. You again? Putting him up in that rocket, taking him out to space and smacking him upside the head. Space Cowboy himself whipping Jimmy Fiasco off those ropes. Misses the back elbow. Irish whips Jason Jones. Jimmy Fiasco looking to capitalize on his newfound momentum against Jason Jones. Clothesline into the corner. All that weight crashing on the chest of Jason Jones here. He's just getting lucky, Ben. Look at Fiasco once again charging in in another clothesline. Jason Jones is slumped into the corner. How is Fiasco going to capitalize on this? There we go. More dancing drink. 
you might be drunk by the end of this match. Oh, man. Rushes Jason Jones in the face. Thank you for I don't know who you're talking about. I'm just kidding. I'm sober as a peach. I'm drinking H2O. You got to stay healthy while you're in lockdown. You never know what you might catch from people like you. That's true. I, although, I don't, I, I, the only thing I've found the last week is a case of crazies as I've been sequestered. That like cabin fever's really starting to get to me. But what's not getting to me is the action here on Viral Pro. It's so much fun. Look at that dropping the elbow right between the eyes. Jones still stays on top of the action here. Now he's taunting the germs, doing it what the space cowboy does best. Getting the upper hand, using what he can that's legal on the match, the what is legal, and look, there you go. Choke this him out. Is that tape legal around the throat, right in front of that stupid referee's face? What is he blind? He obviously choked him right in front of the ref. Well, the ref saw it and uh, obviously didn't think anything of it, so I think we're now okay. Can we now can we agree that this ref is obviously blind and incredibly stupid? Come on, Billy, agree with me. I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know what you're seeing here, Ben. Well, I guess, well, I know here. It is probably referee's discretion here as he just, again, was choked the life out of Jimmy Fiasco. Fiasco going for a schoolboy. All the weight on his shoulders, two, three, and that's it. Jimmy Fiasco. And the winner of this battle, Fiasco. Hey, you know what? Just out there, Billy. And Jesus, never prosper. Prosper. Here on Viral Pro, I gotta look at his eight cross. Oh, look at this! Our ring announcer coming into the ring. He pulled my tape off. Did you see that? I did see it. I, I did see it. I, I, I'm not sure about that. I mean. You were choking somebody, so that's illegal as well. Anyway, I have to know, Space Cowboy, after losing your first match in Viral Pro Wrestling to Fiasco, where do you go from here? Where do I go from here? Yes, Mitch, sir. that's what you want to know? Yes, sir. Away from your Taylor, obviously. Fiasco? Good point. Let me tell you something, Big Bubba. I am a tough son of a gun. But my big cousin, I'm bringing him. I got a surprise for you. Next time, right here, Viral Pro, you're going to face my big surprise fiasco. All right, you heard it from the Space Cowboy himself. We'll find out who his cousin is next time. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Angry Dad, John Rockhold! And his opponent, one half of the Amazing Raisins, Captain Curran! All right, here we go. Captain Curran looking to start the action off hot and heavy against Angry Dad here in our third contest well, yeah, on our second nice episode here of Viral Pro. Billy, we're having a great time tonight. We're having an absolutely great time. I, I will agree with you there, you know, and I think, honestly, I think Angry Dad's gonna get the next dub, if you ask me. It's a foreign object! Angry Dad really irritated, even more so than last week. His Heinekens have run out, and so have his patience with his wife and his kids, and that's why he is angry dad. Well, he's angry because of that. You know, he's been iso in isolation with his family for non-stop and having to do some teaching at home. But, you know, maybe maybe he'll be, maybe he's good at math. I don't know. But, uh, you know, he's, he's mostly mad. Uh, I think you're a little bit mistaken. He's mostly mad because last time when these two met in the ring, you know, Captain Current shoved a prune down his throat. You know, he, he just wants to make sure that Cap Captain Current doesn't have anything up his sleeve or in his fanny pack to do it again. Oh, did you, did you just see that? The ref just took a swig of that beer. I mean, what a what a drunk. I mean, he's obviously not been to referee this match. I didn't see I, anything, but I know I see uh, lock and elbow tie up there. Holler and elbow tie up. I love Billy. 
I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little frisky here. I mean, after that last match where we had to treat, I think I'm a little tipsy here. Maybe that's why I can't call shit right this time. But you know what? I do see Angry Dad getting the uh, the better of him, and it's kind of making me a little upset. Look at Current with a beautiful shoulder tackle. And remember, the amazing raisins are a, have a long lineage of, of professional wrestling in their family tree, all pun intended, or their family kind, if you will. As he wrenches that side headlock uh, on Angry Dad. All we know is that Angry Dad definitely has a little bit of vengeance that he wants to seek out against Captain Current here yeah, in this match. Captain Current, the current matriarch of the Amazing Raisins family. Lineage dates back to the earliest days of the carnival circuit. Oh, come on! Oh, look at that, right in the throat. Where the Amazing Raisins were actually uh, contenders for the first NWA Tag Team Championships back in 1906. Little known fact for you there, Billy. That's great, that's great. I'm glad that you're teaching yourself something at least here in the quarantine while you're in the comfort of your own home. Angry Dad reversed on the Irish whip by Captain Curran. And uh, could we see the monkey flip? And in fact, we do. Long lost. Oh, beautiful. Holy neck snap. Goes for the cover on Angry Dad. Two. No. Angry Dad kicks out. His anger is fueling him. He doesn't want another prune down his throat. I mean, have you ever had a prune? Not that great. They're pretty disgusting. I can agree with you on that. Walking in the front chancery is Captain Kurt. Angry Dad trying to fight his way out of it. Dad backs Kurt into the corner trying to break that hold. Kurt's got a vice like grip. It was broken by that move right there. Angry Dad struggling to fight the cobwebs off. Well, I mean, he's smelling grapes. He's getting, you know, a little PTSD from last week. So, I mean, I, I completely understand why it's taking him a minute to get the upper hand, but it looks like he has the upper hand now. Dri driving the knee right into the small of the back of Captain Kurt is Angry Dad. Angry Dad pour pulling him back to the center of the ring. Oh, could we see a bow and arrow here? Angry Dad going for broke on Captain Kurt. Rolls him over, and there it is. Great submission hold. On Captain Current, Captain Current trying to find a way out. Looks like Captain Current might be drying out from this submission hold, if you ask me. Nice mind pun. I appreciate that by my broadcast partner, Billy Maddox. Don't forget, look us, keep us in mind on Patreon. We just lowered the tiers, Billy. I mean, this is a really affordable option for all you fans that want to experience pro wrestling from the comfort of your own home. Absolutely. I mean, you could watch, you know, the network and have all those things and mania is over now and it's time to get back to some good old classic Midwest wrestling. Oh, right belly to back suplex. Fantastic move by Angry Dad. Come on, Angry Dad. Oh, kick out at two and Captain Current stays in the fight. That ref is holding up his fingers with a two sign indicating he, he in fact can count to two. Reminding himself and everybody else at home. Good We've job, right? seen him count to three a couple of times by now, Ben. I don't know what where you... Maybe you need Why? to put your glasses back on. Billy Blight. No! Yeah, he misses that boots off with the second rope. Angry Dad almost dropped on his head there. You gotta be careful trying to do uh, risky moves like that. Look at Current. A couple of uh, hammers. The current's famous Italian oh, hammer. He's grabbing a prune. He's going for a prune, Ben. Come on, this is this is cheap. You have to look in the rule books to see if this is actually allowed. And it is. He takes it right in the midsection after that prune. He's shoved in the mouth. Oh no, he might have an accident here. I don't doubt if he did, especially after that. Omic drop one two. No, Dad kicks out. Still's got that prune in his mouth. Overhand right. And your dad probably just feeling the fire inside of him after another prune was shoved down his throat. Look at this, look at this, picks him up. Oh, good enough. Bomb on Captain Kurt. One, two, 
three, and that is it. He eats himself, and he may need to go. And the winner of this belt be a pinfall. Angry Dad, Josh Rockhold. That's what I'm talking about. Someone get this man a beer. Come on. He just won against Captain Current. Not wine. I think our punk ass ref drank it all. He owes uh, Angry Dad a beer. Poor, poor Captain Current. What beer having the lips of that guy all over it. Just disgusting. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the pesky Jerm! And his opponent, Big Hoss! I'm not sure what the hell we just saw there, but uh... It was yeah. not PK striking a deal with the clown devil himself. I, I don't know. I don't know what we just saw. That was definitely a deal coming out. The magnificent, magnificent Malico. Let's uh, let's get his name right there, Ben. I didn't even say it. Didn't even attempt to say his name there. You Bill. said clown devil. But you know what? Let matters at hand here. Look at this big mamma jamma, big hoss thrown around the pesky germ. Germ trying to fight his way back, and unfortunately to no avail. Look at the size of this big hoss. Literally, his name is he scoops up the germ. Oh, just drills him into the corner there with a body slam. Oh. You see, Billy, the deal with the devil. That's why. Oh, my goodness. He just squashed the germ too. Three, and that's it. Big Hoss does not care about germs. And the winner of this bout via pinfall. Big Hoss. He definitely doesn't care about germs. He cares about himself, as he rightfully should. And he just took that germ out with some, you know, Lysol, basically, called the Haas Bomb from the, the corner. Haas Bomb just destroys. Maybe we need him on the front lines against this disease, because if he drops the Haas Bomb like that on anybody with COVID, I'm sure it'll knock that disease right out of him. Well, one germ down, many, many more to go. The following contest is tonight's main event and is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the Magnificent Malico! And his opponent, the Bad Street Beauty, Miranda Gordy! All right, Billy, it is main event time for episode two of Bible Pro. And I cannot believe it is Miranda Gordy taking on Magnificent Malico here in the main event. Because, see, Billy, what I was trying to allude to earlier is that Niles Planquet was doing a deal with the devil, which is why I call Malico the 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 uh, the devil in makeup. Do you, do you understand, Billy? It, it's, it's called metaphor. I understand your metaphors, okay, Ben, but let's go ahead and get to the match at hand, shall we? Thank you. I hate explaining things to you rookies, but I, you know, 
We have to do what we have to do in Viral Pro. And the main event is underway in Malico locking in that side headlock of Miranda Gordon. Now, Billy, all kidding aside, do you think this deal that we saw transpire earlier in this broadcast has anything to do with Miranda Gordon? Absolutely not. I think that, uh, you know, not everything has to deal with wrestling, you know. I mean, Niles Blanche was just probably giving some wine to Malico, making a deal with them about maybe having, you know, Malico show up at his winery, you know, and do some entertaining once all of the quarantine's over. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure you can. Uh, you, you, you're really buying that, and I'm sure Niles paid you a good sum of money for you to put that over here on commentary. But let me tell you something. We saw last time on Pyro Pro. He's got a vendetta against Miranda Gordy, and I think we're going to see it play out here tonight. Nobody pays me a thing to do this, Ben. I just do it out of my own free will. But you know what? I'm really, really enjoying this bottle of, uh, you know, Niles Blanquet wine that I have in my kitchen. I did uh, last night with some dinner. How ironic is that, huh? But one thing that's not ironic, guys, is support Viral Pro Wrestling, trying to bring you great content each and every week for the low, low price, starting at, what is it, Billy, $12.50? That's $12. nothing. $12.50. Twelve fifty. One of the uh, few things you and I can actually agree with here. Uh, Twelve fifty just to get the episode. You know, watch this good quality in-ring action going here on in the Midwest at an undisclosed location, but it's going to be viewed everywhere around the world. Right. Viral Pro, your new weekly obsession infection is here, and Miranda Gordy locking on that front chancery. I mean, Malico, you seem not to be as bothered by Malico this week as last week. I mean, oh, look at that. <laughs> Big boot right into the face of Malico. The clown still scares me, not going to lie, but uh, I think he has good intentions. Oh, you are insane, Billy. That's insane. Brandon Gordy with a quick cover, too. And Malico gets the left shoulder up. He's not going to be taken down so easily. I mean, he's magnificent. He's a magnificent Malico. Of course he's going to do what he needs to do. See that Billy suckered Miranda Gordy in, took advantage of that, dropped her neck right across that second row. Now he could be trying to lock in a chicken. Wing. No, drives her shoulder into the almost into the hole. When you see an opportunity presenting itself, you just you just gotta take it. Ben. I mean, that's what you did with your wife, right? <laughs> You're absolutely right. I'll kick my coverage on that one. That's for sure. Kicks that That's second rope into the shoulder of Miranda Gordy, almost separating the shoulder there. Alico is vicious in his onslaught. And that's what the referee did by, you know, coming to the show today. What? Do Taking nothing. advantage, opportunity. He's a real piece of crap, too, in the onslaught. Going for a lateral press here. That might be a mistake by Malico. Malico needs to hook the leg of Miranda Gordon to try to pick up the victory. He knows better than that. He's a veteran of this sport. Which is maybe exactly why he didn't hook the leg. Because yeah. he doesn't need to. I was going to say, maybe, uh, maybe a little underestimating the uh, uh, Miranda Gordon because she is one of the younger competitors here on Viral Pro. She has not been in the business that long, but her pedigree and her lineage speaks for itself. Pedigree and lineage mean nothing if you don't have the skills to defeat the magnificent one, man. That's true. Oh, man. Good point. Clothesline on Nalico going for another lateral press. There he goes. Hooks the leg, and Miranda still kicks out. I will say she has a good pep in her step, and she has a lot of a lot of fight in her, but I'm not so sure she's going to come out the victor in this match. Oh, look at Malico stepping on that hand, still working on that shoulder of Miranda. I mean, that's what you do. You pick, you pick a part of the body and you work it till it's just nothing left. You know, just brittle dust that used to be bone and muscle and pick up the victory. And we thank you all for watching Viral Pro this week and being subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, if you're watching this on YouTube as one of our free matches, don't forget to become a subscriber at patreon.com slash viral pro. 
and get backstage content, never before seen matches and interviews. If you're a tier two subscriber, Paul oh, Malico winds up and hits that from right field, right across the face of Miranda Gordy. That's right, Ben. Tier one, $12.50, $12.50. Oh man, that, that scares me every time. Oh. $12.50 gets you tier one. You can watch what we're watching right now. Uh, you know, the next tier up from there is 16 bucks, and you can get all the bonus content, backstage interviews, promos, bonus matches that are quality just like you're watching here on the episode here of episode two of Viral Pro. Randy Gordy taking advantage of that miscalculation by the Magnificent One. And what is Miranda doing here? DDT! Driving the head of Malico right into those mats. Those are thin mats on the floor here, here Billy. That might as well have been conked. It seems to me like she's backed up in a corner and she has nothing left that she can do. So she she's doing pulling out all the stops here, including going almost to the concrete. Shocking! Malico into the post there. I mean, she has to get what she can, she can get to get the, the win, the victory. Miranda still trying to shake some feeling back into that bicep and shoulder. Miranda slides in to break the count. Great ring awareness by Miranda Gordy. I mean, this tactic is cheap if you ask me. Chop right across the chest, Miranda. I think that DDT really took it out of Malico. Look at him. He's stumbling around like a drunk-ass referee in the middle of the ring. Drunk or not, the referee is here calling the match, trying to help, you know, this this promotion continue, Ben. I mean, have, have a little bit of sympathy. All right, maybe maybe I will, Billy. Maybe, maybe you've shown me the error of my ways, and oh my gosh, spine first goes Malico. Into the into the steel post as Miranda Gordy continues to basically assault the magnificent Malico. There's a lot of bad blood boiling here between the magnificent one and Miranda Gordy, the bad street beauty. Well, that's not going to really, uh, yeah, that's not going to really work. Uh, kicking the ropes into the lower part of the body. Well, like you said, he's disorientated from the the DDT that he had on the on the on the concrete out there. Oh, look at this! What is what is Malico doing? Oh, he's raking her eyes. Referee is right on top of him. Right to break Malico from doing that. Miranda Gordy seems to be blinded. I mean, he really had his fingers in those eyes. I mean, come on, Billy, you cannot agree with those types of tactics. For magnificent Malico. It's just a move that he does. You know, he knows how to take his opponents down, and that's something that he does. You know, each and every time he's in the ring, he, maybe I don't know. Uh, I I don't really like it. I think it's kind of you know gross if you ask me. But hey, you know, to each their own. Not very. It's very true, Billy. It's not very sanitary, especially these times to dig your your fingers into somebody's eyes. But Malico really wants to. That speaks to how much Malico really wants to pick up the victory here on Viral Pro. I mean, you do what you can. You're trying to impress the fans watching at home. You know, there's no fans there. And, uh, you know, like you said, there might be championships around the corner. So, you know, there, there might be some higher ups that, you know, you and I don't even know about in an undisclosed location that uh, they're trying to impress as well. Absolutely. Scooping a slam by Magnificent Malico. Drops the elbow right across the chest. And I don't know if you heard it, Billy, but the germs were actually chanting for Miranda Gordy. So maybe they made their alliance known. They're not going to infect Miranda Gordy, and maybe they might go after Magnificent Malico. I think he's immune. I think that's the problem, and they don't like the fact that Malico is immune to their germy germs. <laughs> germy germs, indeed. Speaking of germy germs, look at that referee. You know there's a few germs in that dirty-ass beard that that referee has. I think those competitors need to stay clear. Oh, look at that vicious crossface by Malico. I saw a vicious face coming off the referee's face, that's for sure. You almost got me there, Billy. Two cow by the ref. Oh, Malico stays on top of Miranda. Really wants to pick up this victory. I mean, what's it going to take? You know, she just won't stay down. I'm not sure why. I mean, 
you know, his fingers were in her eyes. He's pulling out all the stops to keep, to keep her on the mat, trying to get her to submit. And Miranda just has a lot of fight in her. Oh, clothesline by Malico. Ripcord clothesline. Miranda Gordy looks like she's trying to gasp for air, and Malico does not care. He wants to put her away. Maybe, maybe show us all what him and Niles Planque have planned for Miranda, and once again gets taken out with that clothesline. Now is Malico just punishing Miranda? Oh, come on. One finger pin, and Miranda still kicks out. I don't know why you have all these conspiracy because I don't think there's anything between... Because 5G! Because 5G is what's causing all of this! Oh, sorry. I'm about to sign off. This is ridiculous. I, you know, I actually don't even have 5G on my phone yet. Frogs! Frog human hybrids! 5G! They need to burn the towers! Sorry, sorry. Brandon Gordy with a beautiful clothesline. Sorry, I lost. I, this is what cabin fever does to me, Billy. Going for a cover. One, two, this should be it. No! Malico kicks out. It's 5G towers. Some people are used to working from home and being at home all the time, and other people need a little playground like yourself to uh, get the energy out. I understand, and... Uh, you know what? I'm glad you're still here, man. I will tell you that. I'm happy to see you kicking it, you know, and, uh, you know, actually, we call this once a week. I'm, I get a little afraid sometimes of how stir crazy you get. You, you know. should be. You should be. Human pig hybrid! Sorry, that's not. Malico stays in firm control of this match. Wait, oh, come on! I knew it, Billy! Tonight, and I knew it! There's Niles right there! Uh oh. Trying to throw a corkscrew to hey. Malico. She wasn't supposed to catch that. But I mean, come on. Oh, look at that. A cradle. One, two, three. And Miranda Gordy. It backfired. Good for her. Everyone in this bout be a pinball. Bastard. Bad Street Beauty. Miranda Gordy. Thank you for joining us on episode two of Viral Pro for Billy Maddox. I'm Ben Miller. Stay safe and stay clean.